is Vez Treaty here again, and guess who is having too much fun tonight? <laughs> I'm playing with this guy, and I wanted to do a quick test to see how much flow we can get out of this guy. Um, is it going to flow enough? Is it going to cool enough? Well, let's give it a test. So for this test, I've set up um, everything. So we have the, the reservoir, the water pump. We have the aluminum radiator. We have Corsair coolant that has been uh, filled into the system. It's been um, uh, bleed. It's been bled, bleed, bled, whatever. I've removed all the air from the lines except that return line because I didn't fill that pump or that reservoir all the way up. It should be all the way up to here. But yeah, I left it there so we can see the return line here and see how much flow it gets out of there. So we are ready to give it a shot because some people have or has expressed concern that the tubing were, were just too small and those uh, fittings were too small and the internal geometry uh, was too small or, or not good enough. But I'm, I'm, my gut feeling tells me that it's going to be, it's going to be fine. Uh, though I'm not an engineer, so I cannot uh, know for sure. And I don't have all the knowledge to run all those uh, awesome simulation. So just the normal dude tonight doing normal stuff. <laughs> and we're going to do a normal, very easy uh, test on this on this guy. So let's just fire it up at 12 volt. This is a 12 volt pump and see how much flow gets out of there. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that That is pushing way more than anticipated. In fact, um, yeah, it's pushing so much that all the bubbles are reaching all the way to the bottom of that uh, reservoir. And that is 12 volt. Let's see if we can lower that voltage down. At eight volts, it's still pushing quite a bit of coolant, but yeah, let's put it back to 12. And that pump is a little noisy, so I'm not sure I'm going to use this guy. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I see. I think that is plenty, plenty of cooling right there. And, and that's going to flow enough. I, I, like, I like the flow. Let me know down in the comment what, what you think. If you think that is uh, enough cooling power, if there's enough coolant flowing into that heatsink. And um, yeah, I, I'm very interested to see what you're going to say about it. But I personally think that this is going to be enough of flow to cool everything down. Heck, I've been running my, my personal LSD without any fan on the heatsink on the air cool version. And so far, so good. I have not, however, tested it with a super long print with PLA to see if it's going to creep up if it's going to clog, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure that's going to be fine. So this guy with that amount of cooling power is probably going to be um, very good for, for when you run a heated chamber. I'm pretty sure that's enough flow and that's enough cooling to be fine with uh, PLA and even all kind of stuff. But anyway, with PLA, you're not going to close that enclosure, you're going to let it to room temperature. But if you print uh, more uh, exotic matter material and you like to close that enclosure and let it heat up, that guy will probably good enough. And uh, the next step for me is to get it on the printer, install the LSD uh, core, heating core on it and give it a shot. So that was it. I'm happy with my test. Now let's install this guy on the printer and see you soon on another video. Have a good night. Bye. Before going to bed, let's just do one more quick test. Let's see how quick we can empty that bottle. Ready? Let's go. That is uh, emptying quick. <laughs> So yeah, that is flowing very good. There you go. All right, I'm done. Have a good night, everybody.